Okay, those who know me know that for the uh, two and a half years I've been on Facebook, that I have been telling everybody, I was, in fact, I was one of the first people, I was one of the first handful of people to tell the world that Barack Hussein Obama was the Antichrist. That was back when people laughed at me and called me a fool and made fun of me and thought that I was the biggest doofus in the world. Well, guess what? I just read an article today on Prophetic News, <coughs> excuse me, that says that up to a quarter of people in this country now believe that Barack Hussein Obama is the Antichrist. And before you go any further, let me go ahead and give you a little 411 like I love to do. People say, isn't the Antichrist uh, supposed to not be revealed until after the rapture? That's, uh, that's not the way it is. That's not the, not the whole story. Here's the way it works. God said in the Bible that let all who have discernment look to see a man the number of that man is 666 and I've got a video I'm going to attach it as a link that among all of the scads of, of biblical evidence the 19 attributes the Bible talks about that match only one man Barack Hussein Obama one of them is 666 which is, which is his name combined uh, he will not be fully revealed until after the rapture because he has to be Satan incarnate there has to be a peace treaty in, in Israel that's all going to be down the road but the cool thing is a quarter of people now believe that this guy is or could be the Antichrist and I'm very thankful for that because I've been posting this all over the internet for two and a half years pounding at home telling everybody everywhere I can YouTube Facebook blogging Google Twitter the next part of it was this guy on the left 29% of people believe in aliens I've also been talking about aliens uh, for as long as I have about Mr. Obama being the Antichrist and the thing about aliens is, look over here on the right-hand side at this guy. You know what he is? <coughs> He's a demon. Aliens and demons are one of the same. And what I've been saying for the last two and a half years I've been on Facebook is this. Notice the last two and a half years are all the alien movies, alien books, alien home videos, alien sightings, uh, alien abductions. have been blowing up, going off the charts. And you know why? Because the aliens are actually demons. And after the rapture, I am convinced, I'm not going to be here to see it, praise the Lord, but I am convinced that the excuse, this guy in the middle, the Antichrist is going to give the, the U.S. and the world, is that aliens took the bad Christians like me, the Bible thumper, thumpers, Jesus freaks, holy rollers, out of here. It took us away to, to, to be banished somewhere. And people are going to believe it. Because the Holy Spirit is going to be gone with us, and people are going to believe lies. God said that even the elect, if possible, would believe a lie. So this is the way it breaks down, my friends. This guy in the middle, who so many worship, who so many love, who think he's the best thing in the world, once the rapture happens and you see his truth, his true colors come shining through, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you're not going to like it. Because this guy is, you think he's, he's going to be evil incarnate. He's going to be possessed by Satan. The way that Jesus Christ was the God man, a fully man, but also fully God, this guy is going to be fully man and fully Satan. And you think things are bad right now? In the world, with all the all the horrific things going on, it's nothing, my friends. It's like a walk in the park eating an ice cream cone on a spring day. Every day of the year for seven straight years compared to what's coming down the pike. So as soon as the rapture happens, <coughs> excuse me, imminently, any second of any day, only God knows the day and the hour, but it's any time. This guy's going to gradually take over. And you're going to have seven years of hell on Earth. And you're going to have, you know, the, the uh, asteroids... We've been getting near misses of that uh, NASA hasn't been even seeing a lot of them. It's going to be a direct hit. One third of all mankind is going to be killed. Flora, fauna, ocean, streams, rivers, lakes destroyed. There's going to be a hundred million man army marching down from the north from China. It's going to wipe out another quarter of the population of the earth. You're going to have plagues, famine, pestilence, joblessness, homelessness, suffering, new diseases, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes hot and cold records like you've never even dreamed of having. There's going to be 100 pound hailstones coming down out of the sky. It's going to be just wreaking havoc, killing people left and right. Poisonous insects coming out of the pits of hell, they're going to sting you so much. For months and months you're going to want to die, but you can't. The sun's so hot, it gives you third degree burns or kills you to even go outside. So you're looking at a third or quarter, you're looking at 
upwards of two-thirds of mankind being destroyed during this time. And God says if it wasn't for him sending Jesus Christ back at the Battle of Armageddon to set things straight, <laughs> the whole world would be destroyed. All flesh would be consumed. Do you want to be involved in that? And then if you want to make it to heaven in the middle of that, you have to be homeless, jobless, foodless, waterless, and tattered clothes, be arrested, tortured, have your head chopped off, while being a, only being a true Christian. You have to be a true Christian first of all to infuse the mark of the beast to get to go to heaven. Why go through all that? Because if, if you take the mark of the beast, you're going to hell. That's marrying Satan. That's the mark that sends you straight to hell. So what's it going to be, my friends? Why would you go through all this? Why wouldn't you just pray to ask Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior? I'm going to have a prayer in a minute, like I always do, concerning that. And also, if you're a backslider, if you're one of the majority, because this is what's sad. All those who are unsaved are going to miss the imminent rapture, but sadly, most of the church, and from the numbers that I've, that I've crunched from the Christians around the world who say they're Christians and they look at how they live, there could be 99% of people that call themselves Christians left behind. You heard me right, 99%. Because they won't repent. They live sinful, wicked, filthy lives. They believe the lies of once saved, always saved, eternal security. They believe that they can do whatever they want to do after they're saved and still go to heaven. The Bible says at least 250 times, every time you sin, you have to repent of that sin. If not, you don't go to heaven. Paul Kidd's not telling you, the Holy Bible's telling you. I'll be glad to send you the Word document that I have prepared that I've sent to hundreds of people. So what's it going to be, haughty, arrogant, cocky backsliders? You going to repent tonight or take the chance of missing the rapture and be left behind? And I can't imagine the pain and suffering you're going to be dealing with. You know what? I'm going to link two videos up. I'm going to link up my video about Obama with all the biblical proof of him being the Antichrist and my video about I just missed the rapture. It's a heart-wrenching video. I'm putting them both on here. So let's pray. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day, went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of God the Father. Since that time, you're making a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. When you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And when you get saved, get you a King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God. The way you feed your body with food and water every day, that Bible will feed your spirit and soul if you read it every day. Ten bucks on Amazon or eBay, etc. Number two, pray daily to Jesus. He loves you. He's your new best friend. Number three, get water baptized, dunked under water in a Christian church. If you're sprinkle baptized, it don't count, my friends. Being dunked under water signifies your, your old man is dead and buried in the water. When you rise out of the water, you're a new man in Christ. Number four, pray to be sanctified from head to toe. Fill with the Holy Spirit. You get that way from reading the Bible, praying, and living for Jesus Christ every day. Next, take that King James Version Bible to church. When the pastor preaches, if it don't match what he says your Bible, you close that Bible and walk out immediately and find some else to worship. Is anyone who lie to you in Jesus' name, anyone who lie to you about what God's own word says will drag you to hell. And lastly, repent, 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 repent. Every time you sin after you're saved, if you don't repent, you won't go to in the rapture, you won't go to heaven. It's the Bible's words, not Paul Kidd's. And again, I'll be glad to send you the Word document with all the proof, 250 Scripture, and commentary. So if you've got any prayer requests for me, if you need anything from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, you need a miracle in your life, message me. I have the gift of faith, must receive faith. I didn't earn it or deserve it, but praise the Lord, when I prayed for it, He gave it to me. And I've seen thousands and thousands and thousands of miracles, miraculous healings, that the doctors say, no way. Miracles of every kind you can imagine. When I prayed for someone, God's answered that prayer. And you know why? because of God. God, all praise, honor, glory, power, majesty, strength goes to Him. All I am is His slave. Like the Apostle Paul said in the original Greek transcript of the Bible. He said, I'm a slave for Jesus Christ like He was. But I believe and I'll pray for you if you ask me to. My friends, time is short. Get right with Jesus Christ now before you run out of time. I love you all. May God bless you. Good night.